Get ready for quick, easy, and affordable Valentine's ideas all from the Dollar Tree. And as always, DIY treats. Welcome to my channel, Craft, Eat, Repeat. Hi guys, it's Anika, and welcome to my channel, Craft, Eat, Repeat. So I know some of you guys might be thinking, isn't it a little bit soon to be thinking about Valentine's Day? But no, the answer is no, because you guys know as well as I do that Dollar Tree crafters can be intense. And there's nothing worse than seeing a project you wanna do, heading to your Dollar Tree and having all the items be sold out. So I wanted to show you these ideas so you can go head to your Dollar Tree as they're putting out their Valentine stuff and you can make some of this stuff at home. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. Everyone hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And everybody right now, take a second to head down to the comments and tell me, what are you crafting now that Christmas is over? I feel like there was this like mad dash to make Christmas stuff because it's so fun and so festive and making the gifts and making the decorations. But now that it's over, what are you making? I've got some ideas for Valentine's Day, for some farmhouse decor that I'm just making for my house that you guys will see coming up. But other than that, I want to hear from you. What do you need inspiration on? What do you need ideas for? Let's share them down in the comments and that'll give me a great way to be able to pick things to make for upcoming videos. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Okay, it's time to craft. I found this vase at the Dollar Tree and I bought two of them and I wish I had bought more. It already had the twine right on top so I didn't have to take the time to add that and it's a great size. I think I'll be using this one all year long. Just to make it match the decor in my house a little better, I decided to paint it white. So I used this chalk paint, painted it all white and then I just put a little seal right on top. That way, if I'm moving it around, if I'm doing different things with it, I don't have to worry about the paint chipping. Next, I'm going to add some flowers for Valentine's Day. Now, I did find these flowers at Joanne because they were on super clearance. All the Christmas items are like 75% off plus another 20% and these pink flowers were considered Christmas flowers, so I got them very cheap. Of course, you can also buy flowers at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to pull the flowers right off and about this time I noticed that sometimes when you pull the flowers off there's a pointy part on the bottom that you can stick into your foam ball but this one didn't have it, it was just flat. So what I ended up doing was adding a little bit of wire right through the hole that was holding the flowers onto the pick and then I stuck that wire into my foam craft ball. This way the flower stayed nice and secure inside of my ball. Now also, because I decided to get these flowers on clearance, they weren't the ones I were planning, they're a little chunkier than what I was envisioning. So I was envisioning more of a topiary with smaller flowers, but I ended up with these and they look absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Of course, I could have bought a smaller ball and it would have kind of had a smaller profile inside the vase but I think this is just gorgeous. Now I didn't end up securing the ball into the vase because I'm kind of going to have this up on a higher shelf where the kids can't get to it and I want to use this vase all year round. But you could put a little bit of glue or something to hold it in and now you have this quick easy beautiful flower pot that you can decorate your valentines dinner with or just have around the house. Next, I'm going to make a Valentine's gift. So I started out with this wood heart cutout that I got from the Dollar Tree and some yarn. Now, one of the other things that was on super sale at Joanne was this yarn. So I got a bunch of different colors, but they do have yarn at the Dollar Tree, so you can get some there as well. If you do opt for the Dollar Tree yarn though, you may need two or three packages because their packages are a bit smaller than what you would get at another craft store. So I'm just going to start by wrapping my yarn all the way around my heart. And I did realize that this haphazard pattern was not filling in the holes like I wanted. So I started to do more of an organized back and forth pattern to fill in all of the gaps. Once I got all of the pieces of the wood covered by my yarn, then I started again going all the way across 
And you can't do this all the way to the top because there's a curve to it, but I kind of like the way there's a little bit peeking out from above the organized part. And you guys, doing all this yarn back and forth was perfect because this heart is actually pretty soft. You can't even really feel the wood inside of it, but it's nice and sturdy. So I went all the way down this time, making it look nice and neat. And I did end up putting a few dabs of hot glue on the back here and there. None of them made it into the final edit, but it really does help if you just put a few dabs of glue to make sure that your yarn does not shift as you're working, especially once you get down to the bottom pointed part. Once I have my yarn on there, I just cut that off and glued it on the back. Once again, just to make sure that it doesn't shift and all my yarn doesn't fall off of my heart. Next, I wanted to add a little more yarn going in another direction just to make it a little more visually interesting. Of course, you can do it whichever way you want. Yarn is not very expensive, and so this is a really good project just to play with and do it how you think you'd like it. So what I did is I kind of went diagonally across my heart and I did put more hot glue, and you guys, I did this throughout the project, putting hot glue on the back, because I just didn't want all of this to fall apart after all the work I had put into winding it. So I went diagonally across the heart, starting from one side and crisscrossing over my yarn each time. So it kind of made a twisted, fanned out pattern on my heart. And I liked the way that looked, so I just went with it. So starting at one side, crossing over the middle, and placing it nicely on the other side. I think it would have looked nice just with this without doing the other direction, but I did decide that I wanted to go both ways. And this is it. It has a little crisscross across my heart. Put a little more hot glue in the back just to make sure that it stayed. Next, I'm going to add a little twine because I want to be able to hang pictures on this. I thought about just putting the pictures on the yarn, but in the end I thought that might make it shift and fall off a little too much. So I added some twine and I just wrapped it in a few different directions. Of course, if you prefer, you can do this in a more organized way. Whatever you want is going to work with this project. I just tied off my twine. And it stayed nice and secure. Next, I needed to cover up this mess that I had <laughs> created on the back of my heart with all of the hot glue and the ends of my yarn and twine. So I grabbed some of this Buffalo Check fabric that I already had. I actually had intended to use some felt and they do have felt at the Dollar Tree. I just must have used up my red over Christmas, which makes sense because y'all, my craft room is a mess. I'm sure I just grabbed it and used it in another project. So I'm using this fabric instead. So I cut it generally in the shape of my heart and then I just used hot glue to attach it to the back of my heart. And when it was finished, it looked nice front and back. Now that my glue is set, I'm ready to add a few pictures. I grabbed these little tiny clothespins, also something that you can get at Dollar Tree. And I just hooked them all over. This way, whoever you're giving it to can add different pictures and you can add pictures of you and your love all over your heart. I decided to add pictures of my three most special love bugs. And I think this turned out looking adorable. I think I'm gonna put this in their room over the Valentine holiday. Okay, so for our next project, I grabbed this frame from the Dollar Tree as well as this little baby blanket. It already had hearts all over it and it was in the baby section at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to cut out this blanket it's kind of like a soft fleece material so it's really easy to cut 
And then I just wrapped it around the picture that was already in it so that it fit perfectly back into the frame. I did have to turn the picture side out just because it was showing through the blanket. And now I have hearts already in my frame. So I had these wood beads, some twine, and this is some of the yarn that I got from Dollar Tree. So as you can see, the spools are a little bit, or what do you call it, a yank? A hank? A spool? I think a spool is thread and a yank is yarn. Somebody let me know down in the comments. You, you know I have issues remembering these types of things. So either way, I used my yarn to make a little pom-pom that I'm gonna use to decorate my frame. Because once again, I wanna use this to be able to hang pictures to give as a gift for Valentine's Day. If you don't know how to make a pom-pom, I just kind of showed you quickly right here, but I will actually link to another video that I did that has a more in-depth explanation about how to make a pom-pom. They do have pom-pom makers, but if you're just making one or two, you can just make them right on your fingers. While I was making my pom-poms, I decided that I actually wanted to use the other blanket that I got at the same time at Dollar Tree that was a light gray buffalo check pattern. So I grabbed that out, went through the same process of cutting it down to size, and then I just hot glued it right onto my frame. I think either one of these would be super cute if you want to use the heart or the buffalo check. I love that they have both types of blankets there to give you a little bit of variety. I think they might have also had some other blankets. These are just the two that grabbed my eye. Next, I'm going to grab my twine and I'm gonna make a bit of a line to hang some pictures on. I'm just gonna decide how I want my twine to go so I kind of have an idea of how much I need. And then I'm going to just hot glue my twine onto the back of my photo frame. So once that was nice and cooled and set, I once again kind of decided how I wanted this to lay so that I would know where to cut. I did have to put a little bit of tape on the edge of the twine in order to get these wooden beads on there. And you guys, I already had these beads, but I have seen beads at the Dollar Tree. So just look in your crafter's corner at your Dollar Tree and you can find some beads. I'm using these wooden beads because I like that look, but you could really use any color beads you'd like. So I'm just going to do a mixture of beads and pom-poms. And I just want to make sure that I leave a little bit of space on each part of the twine where I can hang a picture. Each time I go around, I'm going to turn over my picture and make sure that I put some hot glue. This will make sure that it doesn't shift around as it's getting tugged to put pictures on and take them off. And here is after I put all of my twine on there, I decided that it was best to just do three times around with the twine. That way it would leave plenty of room for pictures. Next, I'm just gonna pop it right back into my frame. And you guys, they had black frames there as well, and I think they may have had white. I grabbed this pink one because I knew I wanted to use it for Valentine's Day, and it would be one less step to have to paint the frame. But you can use whichever color you want. Next, I'm just gonna put my mini clips on there. Make sure I have space for my pictures. And then I'm gonna add pictures of my love. Now, I'm not sure if he's gonna wanna put this pink frame up, so I think this is gonna be more of a decoration for the house. If you're giving this to someone who loves pink, then it's perfect. If not, you may wanna grab one of the other colors and make it a little more neutral. <laughs> And there we go. I absolutely love how this came out. I think it has kind of a farmhouse feel, but it's nice and festive for Valentine's Day. And this last one, guys, is less of a craft and more of just a last minute gift idea for you. I found this little paperweight at Dollar General, but then I went to Dollar Tree right after that and they had them there as well. 
The ones at Dollar Tree didn't have the hearts in them, but who knows, they may be getting more and they'll have the heart confetti in there. But I definitely saw some that had like kind of like pink sprinkle looking confetti that was super cute. So I'm just gonna pop the back picture out of the paperweight and I'm gonna replace it with pictures of me and my Valentine. I'm taping it onto the picture that was already in there just to make it a little easier for me to see how to cut it down to fit right into the paperweight. Once I have it cut down to size, I'm just gonna pop it right back into the paperweight, put the back back on it, and there we go. An easy last minute Valentine gift idea. I think if you pop this in a box and surround it with conversation hearts, it would be the cutest Valentine to give to someone. All right guys, and now it's time to eat. So I had some pretzels left over from the Christmas pretzel treat video that I did, and if you didn't see that, I'll pop a card in here. I just melted my chocolate, laid out my pretzels, and I'm drawing white chocolate hearts right in the middle of my pretzels. This is so easy to do. The way the pretzel twists look, it's really easy to draw a heart. So even if you think you'll mess this up, you really won't. Basically just fill in the inside of the pretzel and it'll end up looking like a heart. Now I'm using pink and red sprinkles. It's right after Christmas, so I could not find heart sprinkles, but I have seen this where People would find heart sprinkles and just put one heart right in the middle and it comes out looking so adorable. But since I couldn't find those, I just used these pink and red sprinkles and they came out so cute. If you have someone in your life who loves the sweet and salty, this is the Valentine's treat for them. And that's it guys. I hope you loved all of these easy craft ideas that you could do using products from the Dollar Tree. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video when we repeat it all again.